is the Department of Natural Sciences and Mathematics always focused on research. Sustainability is one of the engaged learning. And the students connect the sustainability research project. In addition to all other research, contemporary research in our department, we really focus on to hands-on experience on sustainability for our students. Uh, we have two major research projects on sustainability. One is under the leadership of Dr. Kenneth Frost, where uh, 10 to 12 students working under his guidance on biofuels. This project also uh, being done in collaboration with the leadership of STIG, who is our, uh, was our Green MBA student, and uh, he is collaborating with us on how to recycle the biodiesel. I like our students to own their own product. And as they go through the four years experience at Dominican, they will have that appreciation of Mother Nature. Through whatever the project, the sustainability project on biofuels we offer, sustainability project on carbon cycling, recycling, sustainability project on uh, endangered species. We uh, heard that we have a project uh, funded by NOAA. Uh, Dr. Coelho, Vania Coelho is leading that project, the coral bleaching. Uh, most of our sustainability research is contemporary. That means current. Uh, and the students get excited about it. They want to be part of it. Every one of the sustainable processes easily makes electricity. So if you use wind, for example, it makes a turbine go around and that creates electricity. If you use solar, you get a photovoltaic cell, you create electricity. If you use waves, you get electricity because you can make something go around. But liquids are impossible to replace for our transportation pool. And the issue around that is, yes, you could make them all electric cars, but the fact is that you can't change the car fleet out that fast. So this would have an immediate sustainable impact. My students are learning to make biodiesel and they're learning to make bioethanol. What does that really mean? It means that they've had more photosynthetic activity. More photosynthetic activity means more plant. More plant above the ground means more biomass or biomass that we can use to direct into food, fiber, and fuel. And our emphasis is on fuel. I think that we in Dominican are a part of this important dialogue. And that our students leave with a profound understanding of what the real issues are. The, the idea of sustainability is partly to become more efficient with the energy we have. And that's really the key to all of this, is learning to be more efficient because the, the, the population grows and the demand for fuel grows. The carbon issue is not gonna go away. We can only try to make it better. And that's truly important in this area of sustainability particularly because there's so much smoke and there's so much self-interest in making the issues a lot blurrier than they really are. The research is being funded by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, also known as NOAA, and also by the Dominican University of California, so it's a partnership. The importance of uh, coral bleaching, of course, is because corals are the foundation species of the reefs. What that means is that uh, if you, without the corals, there is no such thing as a coral reef. You have a different type of ecosystem. It's the same as you, if you think about a forest. You cannot have a forest without trees. And so a coral reef depends on the corals as the, the foundation species of that ecosystem. So when corals bleach, especially if they bleach for a long time, uh, there, it's not possible for them to recover and they die. If the corals die, all the other species that depend on the corals to survive will also disappear from the reef. And that includes all the fish, many invertebrates, the entire ecosystem will collapse. Also, I felt that um, that wasn't enough, that we all have a responsibility in this planet to take care of our environment. Uh, and this was a global problem, it wasn't so much a local issue. 
and that's when I decided that I had to do something about it. Uh, because we like our students to have options. Uh, we do offer uh, environmental science emphasis in our biology major. In addition, we also offer environmental science minor. For example, our students doing marketing or business major, they can have environmental science minor. So they have a better perspective and competitive age when they leave Dominican in the global marketplace. These are kind of a, a platform for our students to appreciate how best we could use the sustainability in uh, sciences. For example, our students are working on using corn to make biofuels, using eucalyptus leaves to make biofuels, using algae to make biofuels. I like our students to own their own product. And as they go through the four years experience at Dominican, they will have that appreciation of Mother Nature have this hands-on experience in, on sustainability program, they appreciate more because they think they have the ownership. They think that they're finding some things, so they appreciate more. Sustainability will connect our students with the real life. And they, when they graduate, they go there, they'll be asking questions, hey, why? Why you are printing color? Why not black and white? Why don't you communicate electronically? But that kind of appreciation needs to be there at the grassroots level. So I think Dominican is doing really a good job on it.